Welcome back, guys. This is Ryan Reifer, San Antonio business attorney again. Today, we're going to be talking about the Series LLC. This is a very, very interesting entity. It uh, has some very unique properties. We'll get into that. Something that I get questions about from time to time, uh, well, more than from time to time, fairly frequently, actually. I figured I'd make this video explainer. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying the content, uh, hit the subscribe, hit the little bell, hit the uh, like, drop a comment, send me a message if there's another topic you want to see. So without any further ado, All right, so the Series LLC is a very unique entity. Uh, it is like any other LLC in some ways, and it is extremely different from any other LLC in certain other ways. So the first question, what is a Series LLC? A Series LLC is a little bit like a cluster of related companies. It's a little bit like the structure that you see for very large sophisticated companies or multinationals or that kind of thing. It looks a little bit like a hold co with multiple opco structure, but it's not really that because in any of those entities, uh, each one of the individual corporate or LLC partnership, whatever entities has their own set of books, can do business with one another, can exercise uh, things independently. The ownership interests of each one can be different and so on and so forth. A series is very different in that each individual series of that series limited liability company can own properties independently or hold things that might generate liability independently and they won't cross over to one another. Uh, so the second question here is what industries, what types of industries, what businesses, what types of businesses are good candidates for a series LLC? And there's one that really stands out above all of the others the single best type of business, the single best type of industry, the best candidate for Series LLC is someone who owns multiple rental properties. The Series LLC can, can be used in a lot of other circumstances as well, but is seemingly tailor-made for the landlord who owns several rental properties. Now, why is that? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The biggest one is that rental properties generate liability, right? If you have... 10 different rental houses and you hold them all in one single LLC or partnership, corporations, even sole proprietorship, whatever. If someone slips and falls or has some sort of premises liability accident or has whatever and they call one of these plaintiff attorneys and some, you know, you get a five million billion zillion dollar judgment on you. Guess what? Because all of those houses are in the same bucket, because all of your 10 rental properties are all in the same entity, that judgment is going to spill over from the value of the one house and wipe out everything that's in that LLC. It's all gone. A series LLC allows you to address this problem. If you have a massive overwhelming liability on one of the series, it does not spill over to the other series of your series LLC. Keep in mind what we talked about in the beginning. This is very much like the uh, complicated corporate structure that multinationals or highly sophisticated businesses use. You're, there's your one hold co up top, and then you have many, many, many subsidiary opcos at the bottom. Well, series works the same way. It allows you to segregate the liability of each one of those rental properties from one another. Now, are there other uses of a series LLC? Absolutely. If you have any other kind of property that could generate any sort of significant liability and you want to silo each one, not only from one another, but also from you, for that purpose, a series LLC is a fantastic tool. So how do you actually do this? Well, forming the mothership, we'll call it the mothership, the top level entity, is pretty much the same as forming any other entity in the state of Texas. And I will put up here in that corner, a link to a previous video that I did that has to do with forming your own LLC in Texas if you wanna form your own. Um, don't necessarily recommend it. It's a lot better to talk with an attorney, but if your liabilities are low and you're just kind of getting it started out and you don't mind redoing it later, well, okay, hey, maybe you can DIY it. Um, so once you establish your mothership, then you establish each one of the subsidiary series for each one of those rental properties. Um, again, this is something that you're, you're, you're kind of getting in the next level of complication here. So I don't really recommend that you do a series LLC on your own. You really should talk to your attorney, accountant, banker, etc. So that's it for today. Hopefully this has been a little bit educational to y'all. 
answers your questions a little bit about what is a series LLC and when is it useful. As I said, the industry that really stands head and shoulders above the others when it comes to using a series LLC is holders of rental property. If that's your business, if you are a holder of rental property uh, and you buy and sell houses, flip houses, rent them out, et cetera, et cetera, this is something you really should be aware of and you really should consider if you're not already. Uh, there are lots of other applications for it, but that's, that's by and large the the biggest one. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, hopefully this was a little bit educational. Go ahead, drop a like and subscribe and comment and hit the little bell button that's right over here if you're already subscribed. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Take care.